One of the crucial steps in the manifestation process is to believe. Ask, believe, receive. That's the simplified three-step formula to the manifestation process, right? Before you can receive what you ask for, you have to first believe that you're going to get it. You have to believe that the universe is going to deliver it to you. You may not know how it's going to happen. You just have to trust that it is going to happen. Because it's not your desire that determines whether or not you're going to get it. It's the belief of whether or not you're going to get it that determines that. The belief is the command that's given to the universe. So in order for you to get what you desire, your beliefs have to align with your desires. And this is where most people fail in the manifestation process because their beliefs just don't align with their desires. Remember this, your beliefs influence your behavior and your actions. So your actions are a reflection of your beliefs. So if your actions don't align with your intentions, then that's a clear indication that your beliefs don't align with your intentions. Let me give you a few examples. Say you want to attract a new relationship. So you set the intention, you do the visualizing, you put a picture of a couple on your vision board, all that stuff. But your home is a mess. You haven't cleaned it in months. It's definitely not guest worthy. You want to invite anyone over because you don't want them to see the mess. Now, would you say that is in alignment with your intention of attracting a new relationship or out of alignment with your intention? Remember, your actions are a reflection of your beliefs. So the fact that you're not keeping your home clean just shows that your belief is that no one will be coming over to visit anytime soon. Your desire may be to attract a new relationship, but your belief is that you're not going to get it, at least not anytime soon, so you don't get it. Because again, the belief is the command. That's the command that's given to the universe. Here's another example. Say you're trying to start a new business. I know there's some of you out there who are currently in the process of starting a new business. But let me ask you this. Do you have your business cards made yet? I'm pretty sure that some of you do, but there's probably a lot of you that don't. Now when you're starting a new business, especially in the beginning phases, you're going to want to make as many business connections as possible, right? Because that's when you're going to need the most help, getting your business off the ground, right? So let's say you set the intention to attract business connections, clients, customers, etc. But you don't have your business cards made yet. Well, your actions don't align with your intentions. The fact that you're not getting your business cards ready just shows that your belief is that you're not going to be making any connections anytime soon. So the universe responds to that belief and doesn't deliver you those connections that you need. Now, I'm not saying that you can't make connections without a business card, but it can definitely slow down the manifestation process if you have a conflicting belief with what your intentions are because you're probably thinking that you'll just get your business cards made once you start making connections when people start asking you for your business card or that you'll just clean your home after you meet someone but the problem with that is that you're adopting the belief of i'll believe it when i see it which is completely opposite of the way the law of attraction works it's not i'll believe it when i see it it's i'll see it when i believe it it's the expectation that you're going to get it that enforces the belief and that's what attracts it to you so here's the key. What you want to do is after you set your intentions, you want to make sure that your thoughts and actions align with those intentions. And the best way to do that is to act as if it's going to happen. You have to expect that it's going to happen. If you want to attract a new relationship, make sure your home is clean. Make sure it's guest worthy. If you want to attract business connections, get your business cards ready. If you want to attract a new wardrobe, clean out your closet and throw away the old clothes that you don't even wear anymore. Create space for your new wardrobe. When you do this, when you embody the act of preparing for it to come into your life, this enforces the belief that you're going to receive it. And it's that belief that attracts it to you. It's the expectation of receiving it that attracts it to you. So be conscious of your thoughts and actions and make sure they're in alignment with your intentions because any contradicting thoughts and actions can block your desires from manifesting. I hope that helped and you're now aware of some things that you're doing that could be conflicting with your intentions. If you want more information on how the law of attraction works and tips on how to use it correctly, check out these videos. In the first video, I explain how your vibration transforms your reality using scientific explanations as well as real life examples. And the second video is like a troubleshooting guide. It goes over the things that most people do wrong when applying the law of attraction. It also goes over some important steps in the manifestation process that most people miss because they're not even aware of those steps. I also have a guide, an ebook, that complements the information in that video. You can access that guide through my website. Here is the link to where you can access it, and I'll also leave a link in the description below. And then in the third video, I explain how to actually receive what you ask for, because the receiving step isn't as simple as most people think, and I explain that in the video. So check out those videos, and if you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up, and don't forget to subscribe for more videos. Leave your comments and questions below. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.